Right, this has been a good exercise. Uh, what I've done is taken the exact components off the breadboard that showed the weirded out cold pits oscillator yesterday and actually built it up on a little bit better circuit board all soldered up. And the thought was that it wouldn't work. Um, the capacitance and everything on a breadboard would have been probably getting in the way. And indeed they do. Except it is actually working. Um, the sine wave isn't showing quite right, but uh, it's actually, it actually seems to be seeming to run at 21, 22, there we are, 21.9, 22.1 megahertz. It's actually running at a higher speed, but it is running. So what I'm going to do is put a few more turns onto this um, ferrite here and see if I can drop that down to around about 13.6. But it does work. Okay, now using the sniffer, it's better tuned. It's 13.5, uh, 13.7, 13.6. There we are, it's giving a bit of the wireless. So it's much better tuned up now. But here's something I've wanted to build for a few days now. It's Lid Motors Crystal Oscillator Circuit. And this one, I've only got a 27 megahertz and a 33 megahertz. I thought I'd try the 27. Uh, interestingly enough, the scope is showing 9 MHz on the bottom left there. Uh, it's a nice sine wave, but it's a little bit uh, messed up on the edges because I'm using the sniffer coil again. Now, as he showed, um, it can be tuned with a rod of ferrite, and you can see that is going brighter and dimmer. However, if I fully remove it, it is still partially on, the LED there, but the tuning does really quite help a lot. Um, also from the coil we can use regular AV plug and we can get some oh, I'm not doing there we are. We can get a little bit out of it. Not a great deal, but it is there. So what I'm hoping to do next is because this is so simple, try and push it forward a little bit somehow and uh, get it to do other wireless effects and hopefully indeed to try and run that bulb over there for the Dollar Tree. 8 watt mains bulb in insides and see if we can get that running. This is only running at 5 volts um, from the USB there. So hopefully they'll all be able to do something with it and uh, we can improve this one because this is a really good little setup, very easy to do as well. Okay, thanks for watching.